great day arrived. The entire school lined up in the playground waiting for the Queen. Perfect Peter, dressed in his best party clothes, stood with Mrs. Oddbod by the gate. A large black car pulled up in front of the school. There she is! shrieked the children. Horrid Henry was furious. Miss Battleaxe had made him stand in the very last row, as far away from the Queen as he could be. How on earth could he find out if she had three hundred TVs standing way back here? Anyone would think Miss Battleaxe wanted to keep him away from the Queen on purpose, thought Henry, scowling. Perfect Peter waited, clutching an enormous bouquet of flowers. His big moment was here. Bow, bouquet, answer her question, walk away. Bow, bouquet, answer her question, walk away, mumbled Peter. Don't worry, Peter, you'll be perfect, whispered Mrs. Oddbod, urging him forward. Horrid Henry pushed and shoved to get a closer view. Yes, there was his stupid brother, looking like a worm. Perfect Peter walked slowly towards the Queen. Bow, bouquet, answer her question, walk away. He mumbled. Suddenly, that didn't sound right. Was it bow bouquet or bouquet bow? The Queen looked down at Peter. Peter looked up at the Queen. Your Majesty, he said. Now, what was he supposed to do next? Peter's heart began to pound. His mind was blank. Peter bowed. The bouquet smacked him in the face. Bow! yelped Peter. What had he practiced? Ah, oh, yes. Now he remembered. Peter curtsied. Then he cocked a snook. Mrs. Oddbot gasped. Oh no! What had he done wrong? Ah! Oh, the bouquet! It was still in his hand. Quickly, Peter thrust it at the Queen. Smack! The flowers hit her in the face. How oh, lovely, said the Queen. Whoa! wailed Peter. Don't chop off my head! <laughs>